Hello and welcome back to Katie's Business Tips. Michael Lapid here to talk to you about dealing with price increases in your business. It's imperative with inflation that you regularly review your prices and increase them as needed. It should be done most likely on an annual basis, if not sooner, and not waited for multiple years and then you have to do a very large increase. You're better off to do regular smaller increases in most instances. Now, Let's first talk about what causes price increases. Obviously, changing consumer needs is another one. So we had inflation, change in consumer needs, right? Major events across the globe, such as pandemic, result in all kinds of input and needs and more demands in certain areas and less in others and so forth. Supply, supply problems, maybe, you know, uh, with transportation, shipping, any customs, any problems with the, the supply chains coming in, that's major. Labor shortage would be another one. The shortage of labor of workers has a huge impact on input prices. The aging population also has an issue. And of course, uh, you know, the climate itself, because, you know, it, depending where you live and if your climate is changing and all these different things, I mean, the bottom line is, you know, we live in Canada where it's winter all year long. You got to consider that we have deep freeze here, right? So you got to consider the climate you're in as well. That's also a major factor. So, so we got to figure out all these factors about changing because we want to be, when we, when we increase our prices, we want to be within the market. And all these factors come into the market pricing. What's the fair market value of your product so you can still be competitive or your, of your product or service, right? Your pricing. So how do you deal with the input prices without passing on the bill to your clients? Well, that's the second thing. So we should increase our prices, but how do we minimize our damage so we don't have to increase the prices quite as drastically? Number one, automate processes. To address labor shortage, some businesses can start automating some of their processes, replacing employees with repetitive tasks, obviously using AI, right? Prioritize staff retention. Invest in prioritized staff retention to counteract the effects of staff shortages, right? Look at cost of turnover in your business and see just how much investing in staff retention is the better way to go. It clearly is. It's better to invest in those you have than constantly re retraining new people all the time, clearly. Diversify your sources of supply. Make sure you have other options regarding your suppliers. Have more than one supplier, right? Diversify your pool of suppliers for goods or services. Very important. So if one supplier is not able to get you what you need, you have other suppliers. Another one is to do a business with local companies. Do business with local companies is important because when you're doing business with local companies, uh, there may be great alternative for you. Instead of purchasing raw materials from other countries, you can do everything local. You get it quicker. You're supporting your backyard and so forth. Easier to scale as well. And one more for you is continue to improve, right? Analyze your situation. Take time to break down all the components that may impact your pricing and take every opportunity to continue and uh, optimize or improve, of course. So you're trying to improve your business so you don't have to raise your prices as much, but you must analyze your prices on a regular basis, no less than annually, and look at potentially increase them on a regular basis. If you've got any comments, I'd love to hear from you. If you've had experience with this, of course, I'd love to hear from you too. Thanks for being a part of our business tips, and we'll see you in the next video.